Chats here, and I'm back here with Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. We're in court. It's going well, sort of, and I hope we can keep it that way. I just had a few notes. Where are they? Oh, I found them. In episode two, I don't know if we, I forget if we, if we counter, contradicted this already and we've already cleared up that it was a lie or something, but in, in episode 23, Marlon Rhymes said he fed Orla around the cleaning time, right? But the torpedo said that she wasn't fed until the day of the trial. Right? The, the day after? July 21st, I think? It was Rifle who ate around this cleaning time on the, on the day of the murder. Furthermore, uh, I don't know if this will be important, but um, Dr. Crab said that he had the torpedo system on him at most of the time because of what we know about it being, you know, not illegal or whatever. So if, if he ever, if anyone ever tries to pull that they saw the torpedo system, baloney. Dr. Crab had it. And, um, last note, Dr. Crab uh, lied about what the pills do and we still don't really know why. He told us that it was poison, the, the sedative. Uh -huh. And we're gonna carry on here. I think we only made like one or two mistakes, so we're, we're doing okay, much better on this trial sequence so far, but, cause we just made the contradiction about uh, following 65 feet and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's see where, where Blackwell takes this. The fact still remains whether the witness was the one who killed, tried to kill the orc or not. Son of a... Wait, which fact remains? Oh, Sasha's the only one who killed kill it. Right, okay. Mr. Rhymes was right about one thing. His testimony was advantageous to our case, but pointing out the contradiction in his statement will only drive us into a corner. As Prosecutor Blackwell said, suspicion against Miss Buckler is now deepened. Uh oh. If I don't do something fast, the judge is going to find Sasha guilty. Mr. Wright, isn't there anything we could do? There never is, Athena, but we try anyway. <laughs> there has to be a way to prove Sasha's innocent. At a time like this, the only thing to do is turn my thinking around. There were a few things that we figured out that we haven't gotten to use yet. So for one, uh, we know that the penguin walked over this, which has been left to dry since the early hours of the 20th. So presumably um, uh, that lets us know that the, that rifle was around the show stage at that time. Why that's important, we're not sure yet. We know that uh, Orla can't do two tricks at once. So the f she couldn't be singing and doing the lightsaber trick at the same time. So we know someone's planted the song in there. And we know that Orla was ramming it to show what happened to him. So she witnessed the crime and I can't remember why it is that we thought that was important, but never mind. Oh, right, because if she witnessed the crime, then it couldn't have happened during cleaning. So it doesn't mean, so not necessarily that Sasha was there. Right, sorry. It's been a bit since I recorded, so I'm just getting my details back into it. Instead of trying to prove that Sasha couldn't have done it, I have to think about what made it possible for somebody else to have done it. As long as the crime scene is the Orca pool room, then Sasha is the only one who committed the crime. Oh, it has to have happened somewhere else? No need for pity or boldness. Just finish him off with a swift verdict. I never pity anyone. It's not part of my job. It appears the defense has no objections. Objection! Very well, I will give my verdict. Hold it! Hold it. Your Honor, please hold off on that verdict. But you were so quiet, Mr. Wright. Do I have something to say now? The defense has a counter-argument. You do? <laughs> Pitiful. Such desperation. You look pale. Are you sure you're prepared to make this counter-argument? I mean, you're just you're just opening it up for, for insult there, my guy. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. I'll never forget those words, no matter how many years go by. Even though it's probably just a bluff, I'll give it to them with a smile. What if the scene of the crime was somewhere else? The scene of the crime? Somewhere else? What? You're finding fault with the police investigation now? But it's possible that it happened, happened when, uh, not during the cleaning, right? At which point, like after six, say. At which point Sasha is no longer, uh, very look, very, looking very guilty. And we suspect it had to happen when there was no cleaning going on because Orla saw it. Which there was sort of his theory for a while, but he seems to have dropped it. As I understand, the prosecution's argument is as follows. Thank you for recapping, because I've had to... <laughs> the scene of the crime was the Orca pool room. Only the defendant and the victim entered that room when there was no water in the pool. Therefore, only the defendant could have committed the crime. Well, as far as the security records show, anyway. That is correct. But if the scene of the crime was not the Orca pool room, then somebody other than the defendant could have committed the crime. <laughs> this warrants a lot of talking about. I don't understand what he means by that. Are you sure you know where you're going with this? I might not be too sure, but I can't back down now. Mr. Wright, I hope that I'm wrong, but this isn't one of your bluffs by any chance. <laughs> of course not! The judge knows me far too well. And do you have a theory on where the actual scene of the crime was? Yes, of course. Think, Phoenix. Think. Think of a place other than the Orca pool where one could fall to one's death. I suppose if he fell from the top of the ship. Ah, that would make sense, actually. That would be why there was a blow to head received it to death. If 
He was killed by falling somewhere else and then fell down here. Well, let's just see how they uh, have us answer this. Then by all means, please share your theory with the court. Where was the real scene of the murder? Oh, well, the show pool then. <laughs> More specifically, the pirate ship! Take that! I wasn't sure how they were, how they were going to um, have us answer that, if it was going to be a drop-down list or show evidence. But if, with that, it seems pretty obvious that it was the show stage pool. I'll, I'll look like an idiot if that's wrong. The show stage pool might have been drained of water at some point as well. And if so, it would be just as possible to fall to one's death there as the orca pool. All right, don't know. What you're doing is a disgrace to your profession. I sincerely hope you have some basis for what you're suggesting. Of course I do. I will, as soon as I think of something. The victim's body was found in the orca pool. How do you explain that? Objection! How about if, after the victim was killed in the stage pro stage pool, his body was moved to the orca pool? How about if? What kind of presentation of your argument is that? You had better have a reasonable explanation of how the body was moved. So we're turning back now. I have to think of a way the body could have been moved. The crane system. That's an easy one. Was there something at the scene that could have been used to move the body? They either want me to say the stretcher or the crane system, because that's the same thing, really. Either they just they use the crane system or they use the crane system with the stretcher. Let's just try both. Take that! The hoist runs between the orca pool room and the show stage. The stretcher can be hung from the hoist to move things like Orla or the skull rock. The stretcher could have also been used to move the dead body. Yes, if the stretcher can move the orca or the skull rock, it seems likely it could have moved a dead body as well. But also, let's just point out that even if we somehow later find that the, the killer had to, the, the murder had to have happened in the pool, orca pool room, that's also a viable way to get into there without leaving that security card paper trail. Wow, somehow that worked. I just may be able to pull that us off. If the show pool was the scene of the crime, somebody else could have done it. Objection! <laughs> you desperately spew conjecture and now you even make up a crime scene? Gah! The chains are off. Ah! <laughs> Not again! That's usually a good sign though, because it means he's getting frustrated. You don't have the soul of a warrior. You don't deserve to be on the battlefield. And even your fabrication is half-baked. It's a disgrace! What do you mean, half-baked? The hoist can be operated from the orca pool room only. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you right, you right. And the only person who entered the orca pool room was the defendant. So even if the body was moved, the only one who could have moved it was the defendant herself. But it still leaves the possibility of someone, a third party, coming into the room. Let's not forget. Athena seems pretty determined there a moment ago. She had a very serious look on her face. Order! So it comes back to the defendant, no matter which pool it was. Meaning, I can't clear Sasha either way. Sasha said she moved Orla and the Skull Rock. And I believe her. So could it be possible that she moved the body herself without being aware of it? Oh. Orla ate the body! No, sorry. Uh, the body was inside the Skull Rock, maybe, or something like that? There's an interesting idea. Oh, and that's why she was ramming it to get uh, to get him out of there. Mr. Wright, do you have an objection to the Prosecutor Blackwell's claim? Do I have an objection to the claim that the defendant moved the body? No, I think she moved it while it was in the Skull Rock. I have no objections. Miss Buckler must have been the one who moved the body. What? Mr. Wright? Are you admitting that the defendant committed the murder? No. I'm simply conceding that she was the only one who could have moved the body. However, I contend Miss Buckler was not aware that it was what she was doing. I mean, I still contend that you could have put a ladder to climb in there, but if we're assuming that you couldn't, or you couldn't just parkour there from the bleachers, then she must have moved it while it was in the Skull Rock. The culprit made her move it, unbeknownst to her. The defendant moved a dead body without recognizing that it was a dead body. How could that be possible? If you look at this evidence, body was found in the orc pool. It must have been moved there somehow. I might find some kind of hint in things she moved with the stretcher. Well, there were only two things. Now you basically just told me it was one of those things. The culprit made Miss Buckle move the body along with this piece of evidence. Take that! The skull rock. Miss Buckler told me yesterday that she moved the skull rock when she was cleaning. The only two things Miss Buckler moved to the orca pool are Orla and the skull rock. I would like to suggest that the victim's body may have been inside the skull rock. What? Hidden inside this rock, the body could have been moved to the orca pool with the hoist. 
And that's why they didn't show us the video footage. Because then it would have revealed that, that the body was secretly in the, the skull rock. Okay. I understand gameplay-wise why they didn't show it as footage now. At the show stage, Marlon Rhymes loaded up the skull rock with the body inside. Marlon Rhymes? Whoa. Well, that's a pretty sharp accusation. I mean, I, he does look very suspicious as, as of the last episode and all. And he's kind of taking a... A sharp turn, but I don't understand why, what's his, what his motive would be. And then he used the walkie-talkie to let Miss Buckley know the rock was loaded. Miss Buckler operated the hoist from the orca pool room and moved the stretcher. And why would he give her the, the skull rock? Oh, so what, so Phoenix is suggesting that M Marlin manipulated her by saying, Hey, they'll probably not have to be able to do their show if the skull rock wasn't there. And that's how he hid the body and made it look like Orla did it. That's what Phoenix's theory is. I don't, I don't buy it. He doesn't, I don't think he's the murderer still. Miss Buckler operated the hoist from the orca pool room and moved the stretcher. She moved the rock without knowing the body was inside. Do you really think there's enough space inside the skull rock to place a body? Swash Buckler flyer indicates it could be possible. It does? Well, we don't have the flyer anymore, damn it. <laughs> Please focus on the question at the bottom left. Who will obtain the, I don't know. Oh, it says who will obtain the golden coins hidden inside the skull rock. Go away, phone. Hmm. In that case, I suppose the rock is most likely hollow. Oh, well, yeah, well, that, yeah. What's more, if the body was inside the skull rock, it explains the remaining unanswered questions. Such as... Please take a look at the security widget of the scene that Mr. Plume witnessed. Where did the body that Mr. Plume saw come from? Please recall, what was Orla doing to the skull rock at this time? She was headbutting it. Oh! That's right. Orla's Remy released the body from the skull rock. The body had been placed inside the skull rock and moved there from the show stage. I thought it was weird that it didn't seem like there was enough room behind the rock, but I thought that was just them being uh, obtuse with it because if they had actually shown legs sticking out from behind the rock, then you would have known that or something. I assert that the real murder scene was in fact the show stage pool. <laughs> what rubbish is this now? You don't have a single scrap of evidence. Objection! Objection! It's easy enough to verify what I say. Take a look inside the skull rock for yourself. You should find some kind of proof that the body was there. Blood, fibers, hair. Ugh. Right, don't know. Man, I was, it was just a suggestion. You don't need to scream about it. <laughs> Mr. Wright, that was incredible. You turned things completely around. And I think it all started with that half-baked bluff, too. Whew. That was a close one. Did you really have to add that last bit? If the murder took place at the show stage, then who is the perpetrator? He's suggesting Marlon Rhymes. It is naturally the person who was at the show stage. Mr. Rhymes, weren't you the one who loaded the skull rock onto the stretcher at the show stage? Oh, but if he wants to cover for Sasha, he's going to say that that's true. <laughs> wow, Mr. Wright. That one was some pretty smart brain work you did there. To be honest, I never thought you could figure it out. I tried to protect myself, but I guess it came back to bite me. It doesn't seem right. I think he's he's bluffing just to protect Sasha. Are you confessing you gave false testimony before, Mr. Rhymes? Oh, that's perjury! Well, he did already confess that earlier when <laughs> we pointed out the contradiction with the 65-foot fall. Yeah. What Mr. Wright says is true. The body was inside the skull rock. And it's true the captain was killed in the show pool, too. What? He's admitting it that easily? This time... I'm going to tell you the whole truth about what happened that day. Oh, never mind. New testimony. He's not yet admitted that he did it. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. In the show pool, the orca shot the captain up into the air. And the captain came down and slammed into the water. I can still remember the spectator's screams clearly. What, during a show? All Sasha did was move the body. She was trying to protect the orca. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, I freaked. So now I'm back to the orca again, I see. If you were going to give testimony like that, why did I bother putting you on the stand? All I'm doing is telling the truth. That day, Sasha wanted to do the old version of Swashbuckler Spectacular, so I suggested she hide the body in the skull rock and move it to the orca pool. I was going to figure out what to do with the... What? How could she do the old version if he was dead? I was going to figure out what to do with the body after the show was over. The orca's the one that killed the captain. It wasn't me and it wasn't Sasha. So it was Mr. Rhymes' idea to hide the body in the skull rock. But if Mr. Rhymes is the culprit, why would he protect Sasha? False charges against Sasha would mean he himself was against, would escape suspicion. So why? Mr. Wright, how about if you leave this to me? Athena, do you mean you heard something? Yep, 
Noise. Discord and Mr. Rhymes' heart. Good, because I was I was about to say that testimony seemed like it was about to be real complex to work through. Because there's a lot of weird stuff with it. So that means somewhere in this testimony there's an inconsistency in his emotions. Alright, Athena, give him a good counseling session. You got it, boss! Yes, please. Cause clearly I, I think he's 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 all twisted in his mind because Huh? What's this? Because he cares for Sasha, and the only other culprits could be Orla or him. As far as we know. I mean, as far as the evidence points to, so far. Except for what we've uncovered. <laughs> what are you getting, Athena? Hmm. His testimony is pretty complex. No joke. Feelings of deep sadness and intense anger are being called up. Those two emotions appear to be running out of control. Out of control emotions. Is that going to be a problem? Well, if it's anything like the um, Nine Tails Veil, we're going to have to find images of the scene that are uh, hallucinations or something. We'll have to probe their cause if we want to get to his true emo emotions in the uh, testimony. There might even be other unnatural spots of his testimony that he isn't aware of. Alright, let's probe the cause of his out of control emotions then. I'll explain how to probe. Let's find the root cause together. I think we know how to do this already, right? Yeah. Great, alright. We're gonna start comparing the statements with the images. Thank you, Athena! Let's get this going. Drivers are loading. All good, okay. Yay! Out of control anger and sadness! In the show pool, the orca shot the captain up into the air. Okay, the imagery doesn't look especially wrong. This is the show pool because the bleachers, there's the orca, there's the captain in the air. Uh, no red scarf. But then I don't, I think we uh, suggested that there wasn't one. The captain uh, came down and slammed into the water. I can still remember the spectator's screams clearly. So the weird thing about this is that we're, is that the body, the death happened um, between 12 and 10. So there was no, there wouldn't be spectator screams if uh, it, the, the aquarium wasn't open. So let's probe here. There, there, there shouldn't be spectators. What's causing anger and sadness? Uh, Shipley audience. Well, I don't know that it's causing anger and sadness. Let's maybe I'll, I'll move along and see what the next one is. Um, all Sasha did was move the body. She was trying to protect the orca. When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, I freaked. Let me just see what Athena says about this, because to me the weird thing is why would... There, there shouldn't be an audience, but I don't think that's causing the anger and sadness per se. No, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. There's no health bar here. I don't want, I don't want Athena to get to give me a freebie here. Take that! Got it! Even. I doubt there were any spectators there at the show stage when the owner died. If there had been, those witnesses would have told us the true crime scene right away. And also, that at 12 to 10 a.m., the aquarium wasn't open. What? Oh, right. Um, of course. I just made a mistake. Down to 60%, so there's still a few more things wrong with it. Okay. That made the sadness subside. So maybe the spectators part was what was making him sad. I wonder why he would make that mistake saying spectators were there. How strange. The only thing I can think of is that he was mixing up one memory with another, so he didn't, maybe he didn't actually witness the murder quite as much as we, he's suggesting, and he's just conflating it with another time that Shipley got injured or something? Like, he was in a similar situation before and it was deeply imprinted on his heart? Oh, when Azura died during the show. Shoot, no joke. Naturally, of course, absolutely, positively. A situation where an orca killed somebody and there were spectators there. Hey, I think I know why he's mixing up his memories. The reason why Mr. Rooms, uh, Mr. Rooms, Mr. Rhymes mixed up his memories is because of Azura Summers. Take that. Take that! Could this be the reason Mr. Rhymes mixed up his memories? No, I don't think that piece of evidence will make him mix up his memories. Sorry, the book. You want me to put the book there? No? Ah, she just missed that pretty fast. Let's look for something that shows these efforts. Uh, right, sorry, sorry. I meant the book. I meant the book. <laughs> Take that! It's the same thing. I'm talking about Azure Summers anyway. Mr. Rhymes, I think I know what happened. Could you have been mixing up what happened a year ago with this incident? Maybe that's why you slipped and said the owner was killed in front of spectators. What? How did you... You're right. I did see the orca kill somebody a year ago, but... What about it? I was just one of the spectators. Really? Just another spectator? There must be a reason why you feel great sadness about that incident last year. That we're in the middle of Sun Blackwell, if you could shut up. Stop this nonsensical scrutiny of feelings. Just present evidence to prove your point. <laughs> Boss, do you have any kind of evidence that would back us up here? There is one piece that comes to mind that might explain his sadness. That would be the charm then, right? Well, I'm waiting. Let's see this evidence that has to do with Mr. Rhymes' sadness. Marlin, in fact. No mister for him. Take that! Azura Summers died on accidental death one year ago. This is her boyfriend's charm. Hey! What are you doing with that charm? It was found in Rifle's stomach yesterday. 
Judging by your reaction, I believe this charm belongs to you. Guess I need to push him just a little harder to make him admit it. Oh, sorry, that was Phoenix. Guess I need to push him just a little harder to make him admit it. When Mr. Rhyme said the word charm, he was very rattled. We better examine this charm a little more. Good idea, let's look inside it. Wait, it opens and we didn't look at it before? Huh. What's this? A photograph. Is it a photograph of her training the Oracle or some such? Oh, well, I mean, that's pretty <laughs> conclusive, isn't it? Hey, this is... Azure Summers and Marlon Rhymes. So it's pretty conclusive now that he was the mystery boyfriend then, I guess. But then did he also have feelings for Sasha or is that all bunk? Mr. Rhymes, you and Azure Summers were a couple, weren't you? <laughs> so what if we were a couple? It doesn't have anything to do with the captain's case. You believe you saw the orca kill your girlfriend. That's the cause of your sadness. Isn't that emotion of yours connected to the current case? Silence. Man, we just presented evidence. You did that one. <laughs> You're so needy! The only thing you revealed is the witness's relationship with the victim a year ago. What does the witness's past have to do with the case at hand? The orca's intrinsically linked to it? There's a lot of stuff that has to do with it, actually. I don't know yet. But we managed to pinpoint the source of his sadness. Now let's delve into what Mr. Rhymes is, who Mr. Rhymes is angry at. If it's at Jack Shipley, in the orca pool, um, the orca's have shot the captain up into the air as well. Okay, so, so one of these other statements is about why he's angry. And there's some kind of inconsistency somewhere. Unless it's also in this point. I can still remember the captain's dead body clearly. Let me just probe here, see if... I mean, he might be angry about the captain dying. All Sasha did was move the body to is trying to protect the orca. Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body. I freaked. I suppose you could be angry at her for that. Skull Rock, Shipley, Orla, to Plume. Let's just see what points I'm allowed to analyze here. I guess here it'll just be like, uh, Shipley and Sasha. Buckler, Shipley, Skull Rock. The only one here is Shipley, and probably here as well. Right. In this show pool, the orca shot the cat into the air. Wait, but you still remember this as having happened? Even though you now say that... Oh, so this is just, your still testimony is still that Orla did it. I feel like the hat is important here, but I can't figure out why. So, but it doesn't make sense that if this is around the time that the Skull Rock was brought back. Oh no, but like, she moved both of those things back around the same time, didn't she? Uh, Athena, can you help me out here? I'm I'm an idiot. Now that it's out of control, sadness is society, the situation is a little different. Let's think about again why he was so intensely angry. Okay, thanks. Um, well, you know, Dr. Crab said something about being angry that Ship at Shipley for dying before fulfilling his promise to make it the greatest aquarium ever. So maybe Marlin had something similar and he, for Azura's sake, he wanted to become the greatest aquarium ever or whatever. And so he was angry when Dude Man died. This is the one we wrung the sadness out of, but I don't know that it's necessarily the same one where the anger originates from. So if he died like this, then how did his clothes get all tattered? Because you wouldn't get holes in your clothes from... Oh, unless the holes... No, the holes were from from when she did the lifesaver trick. Right, okay. I mean, I suppose there's no health loss here, but again, it's... The health loss, all it does is make you restart anyway, so it's the same It's the same level of shame I'll feel if I get it wrong. I mean, he says all Sasha did was move the body. I guess he's just saying she didn't kill him. Oh, she moved the body because he, his supposition is that Orla killed him in the show pool. So if the body wasn't found in the show pool, then... Wait, no, wait, huh? Moving the Skull Rock into the Orca pool wouldn't protect the Orca. <laughs> Although I don't know whether to t say the Skull Rock or Shipley here. Got it! That's not right. So what's the cause of Mr. Rhymes' intense anger? Well, I don't think it was directed at that. Let's think about who he was really angry at and why. Uh, hang on. No, it wasn't that either. Okay, but this doesn't make sense. Why would she move the thing into the orca pool room to protect the orca? <laughs> that Doesn't that not frame her more? I guess angry at Orla for killing him. That Maybe that's just, maybe I'm overthinking it. Got it! Yeah, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, never mind then. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that was, I found that so so difficult. Mr. Rhymes, you're angry with Orla, aren't you? Angry? At an orca? What would I be? If you think I have some reason to be mad, then show me some proof. Do I have proof that Mr. Rhymes has a reason to be mad? Um, no? I've got your proof. Uh, oh, well, because he killed, she killed uh, Azra, supposedly. I've got your proof. I bet that Evans we just took a look at would come in handy here. Why would you tell me that? I got it. It's, it's, I've got to say that he dated Azra. Right, so he's, that's why he would want to frame her for the... Okay, got it. This charm indicates that you were Azra Summers' boyfriend. I'm sure you believe Orla killed your girlfriend a year ago. You lost your girlfriend and so you've been angry at Orla. All right. I'll admit it. 
I'll, I'll never forget that orca. Azra's dead and that orca's still swimming around, happy as a clam. I became an animal keeper just so I could prove that orca's a killer. You're right. I want that orca to pay. There. You feel good dragging up a person's past, but it still doesn't change anything. Well, it changes a bit. <laughs> ah, he's right. I disagree, it does change things. He's out of control emotion to quiet it down. Now I should be able to find the truth behind that emotion. Ring. Let's do an actual proper probing. Um, okay. In the show pool, the orca shot the captain up into the air, so now we can actually see the, the way they change. Unless they just want me to put it here. Let me just, let's just have a look. Um, anger, sadness goes way up when the captain slams into the water, because I guess uh, he realizes that he's dead now. It goes down when he finds... Wait, the anger and sadness both go down when he finds him is, is dead, though. Finds he's dead, though. Didn't it used to say I can still remember it clearly his dead body lying there or something? Um, and now the, the emotions are all receding because... All this happened happened. Wouldn't you be surprised at this? I must have influenced the orca finding the body I freaked. Okay, well, naturally... Yeah, you should be surprised at this, shouldn't you? Got it. Got it! When Mr. Plume witnessed the orca finding the body, you freaked? Really? What are you getting at? With Mr. Plume as a witness, Orla was guaranteed to be accused of the murder. Didn't it work out exactly as you'd hoped? In order to have Orla put down, you made sure Mr. Plume witnessed that scene. <laughs> it's a super villain face in the corner. Wow, is that really right? He, he just seems so... I mean, I, I get... Bye-bye! I get that he was angry about that, but he doesn't. He just doesn't seem like the killer type. I feel like he he was just opportunistically framing Orla after someone kill, else killed him. You know what I mean? Because there's still all that weirdness with the Center for Dangerous Animal Control that's, that hasn't been uh, un, uh, dealt with. So you figured all that out, did you? Mr. Rhymes? Are you admitting it? I didn't really want to have to fight anybody but the Orca. But you leave me no choice. Why? You're not allowed to drink in court, my guy. <laughs> uh. What? Now it's time to get serious. Oh, what, what, yo, 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 ho, ho! Ahoy, me mate, me brother, me brothers represent the vast grass eater, stay free! Uh, take my words, pop in your mouth, grab it, scurvy grass eaters, knee, bugger! Yo, 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 ho, ho, bro, I'm ready for the showdown! Okay, he killed him. <laughs> Only killers can increase their body size by 68% in three seconds. What is going on? Where did this pirate fellow come from? <laughs> he looks like a completely different person. How and the what and the who? Order! If we don't have order, prosecutor black will yell at us. <sighs> That's the appropriate response for this. And prosecutor black at a loss for words. So I plan to have that wench be a witness. <laughs> ah! It caught me out. It'd be true that I thought the orca's murderous way should be found out. That's why I schemed to have to plume see the body. So you admit it? You deliberately framed Orla. Ah, uh, it'd be true. But what's getting me that off of anybody's nose? That orca be a murdering scurvy dog. I may have a grudge against that orca, but I always felt grateful toward the cabin. The orca murdered Azra in the cabin, so of course she should walk the plank. Gah. I don't have a response to that. I agree that it wouldn't make it. You seem completely unfazed by this, Athena. How is this possible? The power of psychology. Sorry, I should have known. I agree it wouldn't make any sense for him to kill the owner. Why would he? But his hatred for Orla, on the other hand, comes through loud and clear. Wait a minute. If killing Mr. Shipley doesn't make sense, what would it make sense for Rhymes to kill? Maybe... My theory's been all wrong? Again? Your Honor, I think I just became aware of a new fact. Oh? And what fact is that? Now that we know about Mr. Rhymes' intense hatred of Orla, it turns the premise we've been arguing under, uh, under on his ear. On its ear. Damn it, sorry, that was hard to say. <laughs> Alright, I don't know just where you're going with this, Phoenix. I will now reveal the identity of the individual Mr. Rhymes meant to kill from the start. Oh, wait, no, Orla. Sorry, wait, hang on, wait. Right? <laughs> Orla. Sorry, Orla, of course Orla. I don't know why I, <laughs> he was trying to kill Orla. Take that! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> what? So the wizard's intent was to kill the orca? Exactly. The wizard's intended victim was not Jack Shipley. 
From the start, it was all a scheme to kill Orla. The Orca was his true target. But Sh Jack Shipley is the one who died. The Orca is alive and quite well. He's right. He wanted to kill the Orca, and yet it was Jack Shipley who fell to his death. How did that happen? And are we saying now that his testimony was right and that th this all happened in the show stage pool and, and Orla threw him up in the air? Was was he trying to have Jack Shipley fall and hit her and, and kill, like land on her and kill her that way? How did that happen? Wait a minute. What if... What if Mr. Rhymes wanting to kill Orla was somehow connected to Mr. Shipley's death? <laughs> At a loss for words, are you? What happened to your bravado of a moment ago? Enough of these reckless words without any basis in fact. Objection! They aren't reckless words. The basis for my claim is that the real is at the real murder scene, the show pool. What are you talking about? It's my contention that two incidents happened at the show pool: the attempted murder of the orca and the victim falling to his death. First of all, in order to kill the orca, Mr. Rhymes removed something from the scene, and by so doing, he made it possible for Mr. Shipley to fall to his death. Move some from the center to make it possible to fall to his death. What did he remove? This is what Mr. Romines removed in an attempt to kill Orla. Well, the latter is, uh, is very colorful here, and we know that his fingerprints were on it. I don't understand how removing a ladder could kill Orla. The water was removed in an attempt to kill Orla. Um, the ladder is the only, like, object of importance here. Take that? If you could kill a giant oracle with that, you'd be the king of the ocean. <laughs> Clearly you lack respect for the sea. Ouch. Okay, that remark was as salty as seawater. But wait a minute, Orla is a creature of the sea. And how would one kill a sea creature? So that's the answer. So what be your answer? Smartly now, Mr. Lawyer, how did I try to kill the orca? Water then. But I still we did still weren't confirmed that you could drain that one really easily. Don't tell me you're trying to claim he tried to kill the orca by draining the pool water. That's exactly what I'm claiming. To help the defendant win the cleaning, with the cleaning, Marlon Rhymes took charge of Orla. With the plan to kill Orla in the show pool. And because the pool water was drained... It made it possible for Jack Shipley to fall to his death in the show pool. But maybe by accident and unrelated to what he was trying to do to Orla. Who's holding it? It must be uh, him, I guess. Shipley, uh, uh, uh Mar Rhymes. Hold it! Ah, I tried to kill the orca, you say? Can you even prove there was nary a drop of water in the pool? That day I was simply looking after the orca. Why would I have the monstrous thought of killing it? Because you hate it! Objection! You claim you were looking after Orla in the early morning hours of July 20th, but I don't think you were doing a very good job of it. After all, Orla wasn't giving anything to eat during that time. How would you know such a thing? I know because of Orla's record here in the Torpedo Data System. The system continuously records data on subjects it monitors. From Orla's record, we can tell exactly when she ate, or didn't eat. Sink me! Nobody ever told me about that dastardly contraption! Only a few of the ship's ship aquarium staff know about this system. According to Orla's record, she never ate in those early hour morning hours of the 20th. You planned to kill Orla, and that's why you didn't feed her! <laughs> You're wasting time! What proof do you have of that? Perhaps this or orca simply wasn't hungry? <laughs> He's right. I don't have any proof. If Orla simply didn't eat, then that would create an inconsistency. Where did her fish go? Her fish? Good question. Where did it disappear to? Fish? What does it matter? What relevance does it have to the case? Cease this sewing by asking inconsequential questions. Well, rightfully her fish, right? <laughs> Stop delving into the depths of the orca's stomach and delve Objection! into the case instead. Objection! But wait! It may seem like a small inconsistency, but it's an issue of great importance! I think. What are you driving at, Mr. Wright? How could the fish disappear? Somebody must have eaten it. So who came to the show stage and ate Orla's fish? I think I might have a pretty good idea. And of course now we'll need to prove that uh, she walked over there with the paint on her feet and everything. I believe there must have been a visitor to the show stage that Mr. Rhymes didn't notice. Visitor. You're trying to introduce yet another suspect at the 11th hour. If you utter more of your careless remarks, Taka won't look favorably upon it. I don't plan to utter any careless remarks. Whether remarks will actually be related to the case or not yet, I don't know. Don't worry, boss. If Taka comes this way, I'll fend him off. 
but do try to keep your remarks careful. <laughs> Somehow all those fish disappeared. Somebody must have witnessed the show stage, but visited it. This was the veteran of the show stage. Oh, why don't I even get to pick? Why is it just a drop down? But it's Rifle anyway. I believe Rifle the Penguin visited the show stage. Flash should Oka now a penguin. How would you be saying such a thing, Mr. Lawyer? I didn't see Rifle during the wee hourly morning hours. Do you have any proof Rifle visited the show stage? To be a lawyer of any shelf, show me your evidence. Bottom Rifle's feet were pink for some reason. That fact is a clue that Rifle is indeed at the show stage. I have to present that piece of evidence that connects the Rifle to the show stage. Now to prove my lawyer worth my salt. This is the proof Rifle visited the show stage. The sign! Tic Tac! Oh my! What a cute little sign. Look at all those adorable little stars. These stars are actually starfish. My Spock were painted this sign. In the early morning hours of the 20th, she let the sign of the show stage to dry. Mr. Rhymes kept an eye on the show stage for Miss Buckler while the paint was drying. Aye, that'd be true. But what be your point? On this sign is proof that Rifle visited the show stage. Who of the penguins visit? I'm afraid I don't see it. Where is the proof that the penguin visited the show stage? Please point it out. If you would please, please bring the hand. Thanks, game. Take that! A couple of the pink starfish are shaped a little differently from the others. Oh, you're right. They look a little more like leaves. I don't really find them to look like leaves myself. Rifle had pink paint on the bottom of her feet. These little leaf-like shapes on the sign are actually Rifle's footprints. Rifle made these footprints by walking on the sign before it was dry. Oh, <laughs> what cute little penguin prints. So there are footprints. What of them? Marlon Rhymes was watching over this sign at the show stage while the paint dried. And unfortunately, we'll have to cover the rest of that next time on his journey, because just at a time there. Sorry, but it's just one thing after another. Contradiction, contradiction, contradiction. It's going well so far, but I'm I'm, I'm a little... It's... It, hmm. I don't understand what the Center for Dangerous Animal Control harassing the aquarium and them paying hush money. I, I thought that was going to be much more important. And it seems like they're trying to derive focus away from it all of a sudden. I mean, now that we know Marlon Rhymes was lying about his, you know, body weight... <laughs> <laughs> in a pretty big way, I, I, he does seem like wildly more suspicious. So he might have been trying to kill the orca. I might concede that, but there's still something weird with the Center for Dangerous Animal Control. I'm not over it. Nevertheless, next video up on the channel is going to be some more SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. So that'll be all for now. Next time here, we'll be carrying on this trial. Maybe we'll be able to finish it. I don't know how close we are to the end. There are mysteries still, but we're also uncovering a hell of a lot. So was all... What's this? It might belong to Azure Summers' boyfriend gar garbage now. <laughs> Surely we've uncovered this. Was all that stuff about him having a crush on Sasha just a, a ruse then? Interesting. Oh, I can't wait to finish this. Thank you so very much for coming around to this episode of Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Hopefully I will see you around. Admiral's gonna be out of here now. Peace! Here, have a diamond. I don't know how to do social interaction. Bye. Did she just go back down here to keep crying? That's so awful. Aya? Here's a diamond. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to hit you with that. Please take that.